But there's something here that visitors can't see. An invisible menace. Acid rain. Pollutants from vehicles and power plants fill rain clouds with toxic acid. When it rains, that acid feeds the waterways. In the Smokies, these rivers and streams are home to the native southern Appalachian brook trout, a fish that may be threatened by the very water it swims in. With acid rain coming in, it's kind of the invisible killer. Steve Moore crosses the Appalachian Trail with his team of park technicians. Part of their mission, to uncover the effects of acid rain on fish. People don't see it. They don't think about acid falling out of the sky and having a negative effect on fish and aquatics. To capture fish, they use backpacks charged with 40 volts. Not enough power to kill, but enough to stun. Got a net and an open hoop. You've got electricity between the two of them. When you hit this switch right here, you've got current. Then that's what will knock the fish out and stun them. They float up and we can collect them. The team walks through 110 yards of stream. They zap and collect. Oh, I saw one coming. Where'd he go? Oh, look at that. Look. Rubber waders protect the rangers from the electric current. But it stuns the fish for a few moments. In your neck. Good job, guy. The more they investigate, no, pretty fish, pretty fish. The more they believe that acid rain is the biggest threat to local trout. Twelve point one, three point four, one seventy. The acid is kind of like sulfuric acid that you used to use in chemistry class. We've got some of the highest, if not the highest, levels of acid deposition of anywhere in the United States. We know that we've already lost six headwater brook trout populations because of acid rain. Steve has tried to protect brook trout for nearly 30 years. I think that brook trout are probably one of the most beautiful fish that I've ever seen in a while. To me, they're a symbol of our heritage. They're a symbol of what was here. And it's a symbol of what we need to protect because they're also an indicator of a healthy ecosystem. And it's not only for fish health, but it's for our health too. Hikers who drink water from streams and springs on the AT aren't affected by the acid. The ecosystem as a whole isn't that lucky. America loves a challenge. Backpackers tackle the AT with a sense of adventure. But a greater challenge than conquering the trail may be to preserve it. <laughs>